Hey everyone and welcome. It is Karen here with you today and today I'm going to share with you a page that I have created in my large dilutions journal and I'm using some of my um, daydream wallpaper that is available at Creative Warriors or Michelle Grant Designs. I'll put the link down in the description box for you and also this month uh, we have an image which is called Harmony which is our challenge image and she is available for free with any purchase at Michelle Grant Designs or you can actually buy her for $1.50. So to start off with I've just ripped up my piece of tissue I've printed onto tissue uh, paper my um, daydream wallpaper and I've just glued that into my book with some um, Matisse matte medium <laughs> I forgot what it was called now I'm just putting in a little bit of gesso around my edges and I'm using a wet finger just to help blend those edges in a little bit more so I haven't got a real harsh paint line happening once I've got that dry, I'm getting out some Colour Blast Magicals. I've got a couple of blues there. And I'm also going to grab my Lindy's sprays. <clears throat> I've got a few blues, so I'm going with a really blue theme today. So, And they kind of match in with, with the wallpaper as well, which I think is quite pretty. So I'm just going to spray some of those around, and then I'm going to use a wet paintbrush just to paint um, the colors around as you can see too easy nothing to it really once it's dry I'm going to put in another layer so I've got my my mat um, what are they color blast <laughs> mic powders and I'm just putting some of those in around um, where the rice papers and that are as well so when it dries it will be a little bit shimmery and a little bit sparkly even more than what it was with the um with the lindies and of course i add some more lindies just to brighten it and darken it up just a smidgen because it was a little bit pale and i've also got some schminky um bronze powder aqua bronze i think it is and i've just sprinkled some of that onto my page as well with a little bit of water so that i can move it around a little bit and when I get it all dry, after I add yet another little bit more of Lindy's Magicals, I can stick on my girl. So here's my girl. Well, she was there. <laughs> but before I stick her on, I need to seal my page. So I've just used a workable fixative to, to fix all the um, Lindy sprays and the mica powders to the page. So that when I add anything else over the top, it's not all going to leach up through anything else that I put on okay now another thing that I've done here is I've printed my um, wallpaper out again onto a thicker cardstock and I've actually printed uh, my magnolia flowers from my Fleur art pack onto that as well so I've got some blue magnolia flowers and I've also got a plain sheet of white ones as well so I'm going to cut out a couple of those and a few leaves and I was thinking I was going to do a crown but it looked a little bit too much anyway I'm going to start sticking a couple of flowers down here so I'll start off with the leaves and then put in a flower another flower another leaf a white one this time a blue one up the top I'm going to stick a blue flower onto onto a shoulder but before I stick it down I'm actually going to put a little white leaf under it as well and I've got a couple of little flowers left over because you know <laughs> I cut out more than what I needed but that's okay I can use that for another project um, now while I'm deciding on what I'm going to do next I've grabbed out this awesome stencil that I've got from the crafters workshop and it's this one here with the little leaves on it and I really love how nice and soft they are in the background around the edges of my page and I've just used a little bit of white paint um, on, a, on a little makeup sponge to, um, to pounce the colour through 
through the stencil that's what I'm trying to say so I think it looks really pretty I've also grabbed out some of my paper artsy stamps to stamp a little bit of black into the background so I've got some script I've got a magnolia stamp bud <laughs> and oh what was that one I think that was a um, Carabelle Studio one which had a butterfly and it's sort of a little bit of a mixed media type one so I've picked out my sediment again this is from my Fleur art pack um, and it says a life without dreams is like a garden without flowers so now that I've got that stuck in I'm just going to do a little bit of pencil work onto my flowers with my Prismacolor pencils so I'm just um, sort of darkening up into the center a little bit and on the leaves just to create a little bit more interest in them so I'm using two two different blues there and also adding some blue into her eyes um, I'm going to start on my bird here my bird is also going to be blue but slightly different blue and um, yeah so I'm just working my pencils around on the little bird just um, adding a little bit of color to um, some of the darker areas where the shadows would be where the shadows are actually sorry on the bird and where some of the feathers are as well add a little bit of pink to her lips not very much I'm not going to do very much to her face at all I'm going to leave it pretty much as she is um, and now I'm going to do some scribbling around all those white leaves that I put in um, I've also chunk cut out a big chunk of that so you didn't have to watch me draw <laughs> oodles of leaves and the very last thing that I'm going to do is add some little white splats of course with my Liquitex acrylic um, ink which is like a really runny paint um, with a fan brush and that's it that's my page so I really hope you have enjoyed my project I hope you will check out the links below for my daydream wallpapers my art fleur pack and of course the um, image for July which is harmony so thank you so much and until next time see you later bye